My path with uh, street photography started about nine years ago. For my 21st birthday, I got my first camera. My friends and family clubbed in to get me a camera. And I remember just being like, well, okay, cool. I've got this thing now, finally, I better use it. And about the time that I moved to Seoul, which is about a year or two after that fact, I just started walking the streets and taking photos of whatever seemed interesting. When you're out on the street taking photos, the best thing that you can find is those moments that don't make sense. Um, and what's really cool about shooting photos like that is that you can't plan them, you can't prepare for them. All you can do is spend time walking and looking. Oh. Anyone's here? Oh, <laughs> what's what's up? <laughs> Have a good day, man. <laughs> Sure, like everybody's heard that thing about like a photographer having an eye. Like I think far more important than that is just having a pair of shoes. <laughs> if you just uh, spend all your time walking as far as you can, going to all the kind of places where people wouldn't ordinarily go, you're gonna find these images that, yeah, there's almost no rhyme or reason for them to exist. And that's when you know you got a good photo. Standing right here in Chungmuro, which is a working class district in Seoul, at first it was just like, uh, oh, that's like weird, that's odd, let's shoot some photos. And the more I did it, the more it became a way of really learning about the city and the people and engaging with, like really being able to engage with a society that wasn't built for me, uh, which has been absolutely fascinating. Like I've learned so much and like truly been humbled by just the amount of like kind people I've met that are willing to invite me into their, their spaces and into their lives to take some photos. Um, I mean, being out here shooting street photos is great. There's always something going on on the streets. It's, it's so busy, like everybody's doing something else. Every, like, it's just a permanent hustle. And if you can sort of slip your, like, find your way into the slipstream of that, then you're definitely gonna get some good photos. I'd say the thing that I love about shooting photographs is it's twofold. Um, and it's, it's interesting, two sides of the same, uh, same coin, I suppose. For me, shooting photographs is a way to engage with people that I don't know, to engage with strangers, to meet people, and to, to really get into their space and talk to them and get to know them, um, which is not something that you are able to do just out on the streets too often. There's no way to really justify it, but when you have a camera in your hand, people just sort of assume that there's a reason for you to be there doing it. Like, when was the last time you walked up to a stranger and just sat with them because? Like, you don't really get to do that. So yeah, photography, you can, that's exactly what you get to do all the time. It's great. And on the flip side of that, there are times when, I don't know, I could be a, maybe a little bit more introspective and I'm not as interested in speaking with people that I meet out in the streets and the camera can be a good sort of shield or aegis against that where you use it as a way to sort of remove yourself and just watch what is happening. So yeah, I mean, that's what taking photos, taking photos out on the streets is so good for me because I get to both engage when I want to and disengage when I want to.